Uh, I play Captain Francis Crozier. I'm the second in command of the Franklin Expedition, which has been led by Sir John Franklin. And um, I am an Irishman who has a lot of experience in, in polar exploring. Um, uh, but I, although I'm second in command, I'm really sort of, uh, we both say this about our characters, but I'm sort of a spare, really. Um, and his, your characters at, at the beginning of the expedition is, is sort of more uh, right, you know, perceived to be more of the, of the second in command to mm. Sir John Franklin. Um, our, and our relationship isn't a good one to start off with. I think there's, there's bitterness that my character feels towards his character. Um, I make certain uh, assumptions about how he's achieved this position um, and I've got a chip on my shoulder about how I feel I've been held back from advancing within the service. So our relationship at the beginning is not good at all. Uh, I play uh, captain of the flagship Erebus, uh, James Fitzjames. Um, who was a bit of a star of the Navy um, and definitely a product of the sort of patronage system. I mean, the, the, the Victorian society that we're sort of embodying and the, the Navy is in, uh, you know, certainly represented that is a very class orientated structure uh, without any kind of, um, you know, without any shame about that. Uh, and so, um, you know, the English perceive themselves to be superior. Um, and that was obviously embedded in, you know, how those uh, organisations were run. Um, and I, you know, Crozier was a victim of that and I'm very much a, a beneficiary of that. Um, um, however, I mean, at the heart of uh, Fitzjames, he is not all that he seems. He's also a construct in his own way, which you learn later on in the show. Yes, I think so. I think so too, yeah. yeah. That's I, what I, I mean, I certainly love that about the show is that there are, um, at different times, different monsters, and, and quite a few of them are human. Uh, and so it's as much investigation of the terror of us as it is about the terror that's outside us. Yeah, and, and again, one of the smart things about the writing of the show is that it, it, everything that goes wrong goes wrong because of a decision that somebody has made. So it's all character-based, rather than there's this thing from outside mm. that uh, is, is inflicting misery upon uh, hapless people, you know. Uh, so it's very much a character-driven show. It was exciting. I mean, I think yeah. that scope was exciting. Yeah. You know, when you go onto the set, that, when, that first time he went there and he saw the ship uh, all encased in ice, the big prow sticking out, and the sails going up, and it was really thrilling. Um, yeah. And then when we went below decks, onto that quarter deck where all the living spaces were and all the little individual cabins and they'd been personalised and I think it was wonderful. And it, it, it's such a gift to give that to the actor that, that someone has put that attention to detail into the, uh, creating that space and it wasn't just sort of knocked up and you know, you open a drawer and there's a like, you know, packet of Kit Kat in there or something. <laughs> but everything was, was specific mm. to the period. And it's tremendously helpful and, and a great Yeah, we should give a generous. shout out to Jonathan McKin McKinstry, yeah. McKinstry. Yeah. The production and Annie designer. Simmons, Annie who was Simmons costume. costume designer, and so yeah. they did a, a brilliant work and supported us uh, immeasurably. And yeah, uh, that you, made, made our job much easier. I mean, Jonathan, was a, he, what he pulled off was a bit of a miracle yeah, because you only had three sound stages to pull off two ships. I mean, they needed three decks on one ship, two decks on another, and they needed, he needed to create the, uh, the Arctic as well on three small sound stages. So I mean, what he pulled off was amazing. Yeah, he created the Arctic in a landlocked country yeah. a long way from the Arctic. So yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it was pretty amazing. I always think like, I think I have like a period face. I mean, I just have a face that doesn't really look very modern. I mean, I, I, yeah, I very rarely get asked to, you know, hang out now. Do you, how are uh, you? I don't think so. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I've done. I mean, does it count? I've done future. I've done sci-fi, so that's projected into the future. Well, yeah. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah, not so sure. I, you know what it is. Don't I, trap him in the yeah, past. He's I, also I, the future. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think that um, probably the truthful answer is people tend to 
cast you and see you in things that you've already been in. And um, so, it, you know, it just needs someone to break the ice, you know what I mean? But also, I, I, I think I also am drawn to, you know, often there are great stories going they on, are. you know, period is an interesting thing to... So I think it's also, I feel partly responsible that I'm often just drawn to that kind of material a bit, but yeah. It's not really in our gift, is it? We used to, you take the job, you take you're job, given. Someone offers you a job, you go, oh, thanks Give very much. Give us a job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I could do that. Put, that Put on a hat. <laughs> This is the sales pitch. Yes. Okay, so why should you watch it? I think it's an amazing story. Uh, it's been brilliantly realised and told, I think. Um, it's character driven. Um, I think some really interesting people and scenarios. And it's, uh, it's an investigation of, sort of the human condition when it's sort of stripped bare. And so if you like your drama, um, psychological and existential. Horror. Uh, there's Terror. some horror. Um, yeah, and you, you like a bit of ice. Um, I think you will not be disappointed. Yeah, it's, a, it's an adventure. Yeah. It's still, ad I mean, even though, you know. It's true. It things, it's, it's a dark adventure. It's still an adventure story. I don't think you, I mean, I don't think people would have seen anything quite like it. And it's, it will, yeah, you will be surprised. Uh, many, many turns, so, you know, which I, you know, obviously is what well, all good stories yeah. do. So, yeah. So. You can't say too much.